Hey guys, so yesterday we worked on complete sentences or fragments, and remember a fragment is when it doesn't include all of our information. So it may not include our who, or it may not include what is happening. Today we're gonna talk about the difference between a complete sentence and a run-on. So a run-on sentence actually has too much information. It's too many, too many parts that are jammed together to make an incomplete sentence. So we're gonna look at this example real quick. We're looking at which is a complete sentence. So our two options are, so I'm reading this one right now, today the sea is a dark blue color. The second one here says, it is dark out, we need a flashlight. So I need to think to myself, which one has a complete thought that makes sense and which one actually gives us too, too much information? Our key idea here is a sentence is a group of words that forms a complete thought. It has a subject, and it has a verb. So my friends walk along the path. My subject there is my friends, and my verb is walk along the path. Walk is actually our verb, but the end is our predicate, so it's our end of our thought. So this sentence right here is a complete sentence. A run-on sentence is made up of two sentences that really should stand alone. So it says, I knocked on the door, it opened. So in here, we actually have two subjects. We have I and we have it. We also have two verbs. We have knocked and we have opened. So these are two separate sentences. Really, we should have a period here and it's gonna talk about how to fix those. To fix a run-on sentence, we have to separate the two sentences into two separate sentences so they're not jammed together. You can add a period after the first sentence and use a capital letter at the beginning of the second sentence. sentence. So here I have, I knocked on the door and it opened. They added in a period and a capital letter to make it two separate sentences. So our solution which one of these, I want you to think to yourselves, which ones up here are complete sentences? So here I have my subject, the C, and my verb up here is going to be is, and this one I have my subject is it, and actually we is also a subject. It's another person doing something. We have a verb of is and need. So think to yourself, which one is a complete sentence? It would be today the sea is a dark blue color. So this is going to be our answer. And that is because it is a complete sentence. It has one subject, the sea, and it has one verb, which is is. This one is a run-on sentence. Let me know if you guys need any help today.